Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob Hager, and uh, today I'm going to answer a couple questions that I had about my um, resi ramp in, in my backyard here. So I had a, a lot of questions on my um, on my first video of this ramp of us riding it for the first time. The price is one of the um, more popular questions I got, um, and the cost of this stuff. This sheet is, I believe, 10 feet wide by 20 feet long. I got it for a thousand dollars for that and the ramp that my buddy had built. So like all of this he built. Um, he also had a kicker, but he kept that because I think he's making a mulch jump. Yeah, and other people asked where I got it. I got it from him. He bought the actual resin material from Andy's backyard, I believe it is, or Andy's yard. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. You can check that out. You, you have to email him, tell him what you want, and he'll give you a quote. I haven't ridden a lot of resis, but this is, it's not super thick, but it's really hard. Like it's, it's super firm, almost impossible to roll up. So if you know where like, like all those Russia skate parks, where it's like almost like tarps. If you know where I could buy something like that, let me know. Um, this has been weathered quite a bit. I don't want to put too much money into it because I don't know if it's staying here or if I, if I'm going to be moving it to a different property. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's some like holes starting to form here at the bottom. I had to put this sheet on because we were starting to crack through the layer of OSB and that was just really cheap OSB. We just wanted to ride it like we built this last year and we just wanted to ride it before the season was up so we got the cheapest stuff we could just to be able to ride it. So the cost of this was a thousand dollars. I don't know how much the actual um, resi would be if you bought it on its own um, but he sold me this for a thousand dollars. Then this kicker here was super cheap. I just had one sheet of this and cut out both the transitions. So I did it without using the whole sheet. So it saved me a little bit there. Um, I believe this kicker itself cost me like probably 70 bucks. Um, over time with all the impact coming onto it here, it started to, you can see that it's separated. Um, and I also think like the ramp itself is slightly starting to lean to the left. So it's, I mean, it could use some work. I broke a lot of these off because I was walking up here in the winter. Um, so these are all reinforced now. So now we're up top here. These are just the tarps that I use. I've kind of been neglecting it, not really taking care of it. I don't ride it too often. I'd ride it a lot more if there was a quarter at the end, but it's just a lot of work to roll all the way into the driveway and then have to turn around and walk all the way back through the grass. But yeah, let me show you like underneath this actual rolling. This rolling is 12 feet tall. This is basically like we built this like a ladder and then just laid some plywood over it. So like from here to the lip is probably close to 50 feet, maybe a little bit more. So the whole thing from the back end here is probably close to 70 feet. Um, we bolted down the resi mat. You can kind of see that the resi sticking up there and there. We, uh, we bolted the resi down and then when it heated up, it expanded. I wanted to get this fixed up but I started dropping a lot of money into the new business that I'm starting and I had to get a new car as well. So that was an expense that I wasn't expecting. So hopefully I can fix this up soon or ride it how it is. Nobody really comes and rides it. It's not really fun riding by myself on it. When I ride it, I kind of want to learn new tricks and progress. And it's hard to like get ideas or get inspired to do new tricks when you're riding by yourself. Um, and if you have any questions, comment them below. So this setup here, this rolling, I think the rest of it cost me like $700 for like from the lip to this, like that cost me $700. So the whole thing cost me a little under two grand. So I've got this here, which is supported by these. Those cinder blocks are just to keep it from moving side to side. So those don't get kicked out. Um, we've got some four by fours going up. These are sank three feet into the ground. This is made like an actual deck. So you can see the uh, beams and the joists and then just had the rails put on with some bolts on the ends and then we just put these um, long two by fours to keep it from twisting then some cinder blocks at the bottom just to support that and then we made this little angle to make it a bit nicer of a um, you know of a roll in it looks really steep and it looks like it would hit really hard and a lot of people have mentioned that to me here's the ramp itself on the actual landing it's just some thin quarter inch OSB. Um, you don't need a lot because of the foam here. I also don't know where to get the foam. I know you can look at your local foam factory. They'll be able to give you a quote on what that'll cost you and everything. Um, I don't know how much the foam costs for this one. 
and I also don't know the, the density of it. I'm not 100% sure. It feels pretty firm, but I don't know like the ratings for that. Um, we had to take this whole thing apart, disassemble it completely, and then reassemble it when we got here. We had to dig the ground out to make it level, so we basically dug holes in the ground with these cinder blocks and just put a level line across it to make sure the whole thing was level. And we had to dig out for this as well and then slightly for the runway. The runway is not super level all the way down. It slightly turns, but you don't feel it at all. Yeah, other than that, that's my resi. That's my small backyard ramp. It feels amazing. I talked to Nate Wessel to get the transition of the actual um, lip, and I don't remember. I'll put the radius in the description and the height. I'll put all the dimensions of the ramp in the description um, just because I don't remember it offhand. But yeah, he told me that and it feels amazing. It's like the perfect ramp for backflips. Um, we extended it more than he had it. He had the lip up to this. We put this piece on here just so you didn't have to jump the gap. You could just roll over it. And then same with going back into it. You didn't have to hop the gap to go back in. Yeah, this is how we bolted the resi in. And it just lays down. Since it's so heavy, you don't really need a, you know, to mount it. And then underneath it, underneath it we have a, um, it's really hard to see, but under here, there's a two by six with some screwed in, it's like got a circle at the end of it. And we have two of them on each side and then two of them in the middle. And there's stakes through those holes or through those circles that go into the ground. And basically that just keeps the foam from sliding forward when you land. That's my resi, I hope you guys like it. If you, Like I said, if you have any other questions, comment those below, I'll try to get back to you.